Hi everybody, welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're doing a themed lambretta. It is going West Ham colours, guys. So a customer has come back to me. I've done previous work for him in the past and he's a big West Ham fan. Now, he had some panels, these panels here. This was a kit which was done for him in another country. What you do is you order a kit, tell them the colour that you want, and they make the kit up, spray it, and send it out to you. So he got the kit and it turned up, and the colour that he asked for, which is this one, sent the paint code and everything over, as you would, and in that country, that colour comes out as this one. So it's sort of the wrong colour. The rest of his bike is in this colour, and he wanted it to match all up, so it's wrong. So he's come to me and says, Rob, can you do me a colour change? We're going to go claret and blue. So we're going to keep that blue colour. And then we're going to do a claret colour, metallic, on this centre section here going off. So that piece there is going to be claret. We've got a toolbox door, so that's going to go claret. That one, that one, and that one. Now, as he's a big West Ham fan, we're going to do the Cockney Rejects logo to the back on here, airbrushed in. So you'll have Cockney Rejects there and then one there. And then we've got another little tweak that I'm going to do to the artwork. We'll just finish it off. So that'll be on the back, but you're going to see that in the next episode. So we've got a lot of prep to do. Now, as you can see, if that is picking it up, you can see the state of that paint finish. It's horrendous. It really is. That's just like orange peel sit it and we've got loads of dirt in this so that's the company that send that's the paint finish the company send out is like full of dirt orange peel we've got a pinhole up here and we've got another pinhole on this one i felt and just full of dirt it's like a sandstorm's hit it so the first thing to do is prep these up now because this is clear coated we can knock this back 320, knock it all back, see what it looks like. If it needs sealing, I will seal it with some primer sealer. We'll just blast over all these bits in primer sealer and give it a nice coat of that. And then we can work from that. We'll see what it's like. If they prep up okay in 320, knock back okay, nib out, fill out the little bits in dolphin glaze, the little pinholes will fill them. We can go straight into base coat, not a problem over the top of this. We've got the door, which the customer, which I think is really cool, he's put a 12 volt, 120 watt outlet on there and done a nice job of that. So that's on there. And he said to me, just sprayed it in black paint, which when he gave it to me and looked at it, I thought, yeah, that's fine. We can go off that, we can sort that out. But when you look up close, if that camera's picking up, you can see all the crazing. That's paint reaction on that. So this needs sanding all back. We've got a little bit of filler work to do around the edge of here just to tidy this bit up here. This will need plastic priming and priming up and sorting out. So it's a day of prep, guys, on these bits. We're going to get all the prep done, wrapped up, and then we can move on. In the second episode will be base coats, logos, airbrushing, and clear coat to finish so i'll take you through all that we're going to use the dv1s on this will be perfect for these so you'll get to see the dv1s again smash some clear coat down so really looking forward to that one so enjoy the video i'll stick you in the time lapse and we'll get this dodgy paintwork looking nice see you in a bit
short time lapse, you've seen me going and I was prepping. I'll just give you a little pan around and show you what we're going to do next. Now, I've prepped these down on the D8 in 320, and on certain places, I've gone in on these bad edges round under here where that rubber seal was put on and super glued to it. So there's no way you're getting it off clean to save that because it was just glued all the way along. So I've had to scalp all that off and then 180 sand the lip because there was bits of that rubber seal stuck to all of this. The customer got one side off clean, uh, but that one had that much glue on it and it was all stuck to the paintwork and I didn't want to go masking off the rubber seal. It would have looked atrocious just trying to mask off a rubber seal when just for the sake of a cheap little rubber seal pull it off sand it all back and go and paint to a fresh surface and you can put rubber seal to a nice clean fresh surface it just looks better so 320 all over we've got a little bit in here where there's a little dink like a little bit imperfection i'm going to clean that out a little bit of dolphin glaze over that and just sort that one and we've got a little pinhole here down into the fiberglass going to clean this up skim a bit of dolphin glaze over that give them a panel wipe down and clean up that one's okay there's no sort of like filly work to do on that filler work that front one's okay that's all been sanded back the horn cast this piece here as we're saving this blue i've cleaned it and then gone in with a scotch bright and keyed all the surface up because we're just doing a center color change on that the the dreaded painted up toolbox cover now I've been sanding and sanding and sanding to get this whatever black paint have been put on it off now with some plastics most car stuff you get when you take the casings off plastics and you turn them over they've got stamp marks on them and it tells you codes and it tells you like whether it's ABS plastic and things like that so you can you can find out what type of substrate you're going to be painting on cheap stuff mass-produced molded stuff like this there's no stamp marks to tell you what plastic it is now a good way to test plastic as well if you're going to get like you want to put a motor down on it once you've cleaned it just try masking tape and sticking to it if the masking tape sticks to it and doesn't just slide off you know you've got a good chance of putting some plastic primer down and it will adhere to it i've had some plastics where you go to it's all clean no you try and put masking tape on it and masking tape won't even stick so then ones are the budget cheap crappy plastics guys that just stay away from stick to your abs plastics your, your car stuff and your proper bike stuff you'll be absolutely fine so everything's sort of prepped so far we'll get the little bit of filler work done on these two bits knock them back clean all these down blow the studio out and then we're going to put some primer sealer down on these pieces i'm going to put some plastic primer on this and get all these up into like a primer and that'll wrap today's video up can leave these drying down with the heater on and then next episode we'll just key these up knock them back flat them down get them prepped up for paint and we'll crack on with the painting so i'll see you in the next step time lapses we've prepped the panels up gave them a good clean down blew them off and I've dropped some primer down on these just to seal them off just give them a one coat of primer over the top we've got the case in there that's in primer so we're all good to go we're going to leave these to dry overnight keep the heat on let them dry right down then they can come in tomorrow guide coat all this up prep it all up and then we can get some base coat down. So that's it for today. I know it's not a great 
video, there's a bit of prepping involved, but these things you have to get done before you can start putting the fancy paints down and getting them all ready for artwork and things like that. So I'm gonna leave these to cure down. I'll see you in part two. We'll get these prepped up in part two, get some base coat down, start the artwork and get them up into clear and get them finished. So thanks for watching. Don't forget if you're new to the channel, click that subscribe, press that notification. Drop your comments guys, I'll get straight back to you on the comments and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.